Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Deli. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov task video. Today we are going to be talking about tasks farming 1, 2, 3, and 4. Before you can start the Bitcoin farming series of tasks for the mechanic, you need to complete the gunsmithing part 1 task at level 10. A video describing how to complete that task will be included in the description box below. Let's get started with farming part 1. To complete this task, you're going to need to get your hands on two toolkits. Now, if you're fairly far ahead and you already have Therapist level 3, you can actually just buy the toolkits from her. But if not, don't worry, they're actually fairly common around the game inside of duffel bags, filing cabinets, toolboxes, and they sit on shelving in the shoreline, pretty much where any industrial shelving spawns. They also periodically spawn in the backpacks of scavengers too. For those that are still struggling, I'll give you guys a few locations. Inside the sheds on Shoreline's residential areas, there are toolboxes and giant wooden boxes that frequently spawn them, as well as the hydro station on Shoreline and all the industrial closets inside the North Wing and West Wing on Shoreline. You can also try to find them in the Ollie on Interchange, but I have yet to see one there, but I know it's technically possible. Once you have both of the toolkits, gear up and get ready to do a factory. Now you can repair these one at a time. And the reason why I would maybe suggest that if you're a little bit nervous is the, because the toolkits are set up with a four slot each, you will only be able to put one in your secured container at a time. So you might want to go into a factory, repair one of the panels, and then leave and then join again to repair the second. It's your choice. I did it all with one run because I got pretty lucky with the spawn. Once you're in the factory, you're going to want to go to the room with all the machines. Some people call this the machinery room. Other people call it the forklift room. Anyway, it just looks something like this. It has a giant yellow machinery all throughout it. Now on the side of the wall, you're going to notice a blinking red light. Go over to it and start repairing it. It's going to take about 20 seconds. So if you hear anybody around, you might want to dispatch them first and then get back to your repair. At this point, I would throw your other toolkit into your secured container just in case. Now to your right, you're going to notice a long hallway that leads into the room with the extraction point and you'll notice a blinking red light on the wall. That is your next circuit breaker. Once you've repaired both of the panels, it doesn't actually matter if you die or not, you've completed the task. Farming part two requires you to collect five power cables, five T-plugs, and five circuit boards. The T-plugs are incredibly easy, and it's likely that you'll be able to complete this in one or two raids. Just loot filing cabinets. They're one of the most common spawns. They're the orange plugs. The circuit boards are also surprisingly simple. Every single computer has a really good chance of spawning circuit boards, as well as finding them loosely scattered throughout the northern wing on shoreline, as well as the tech stores on interchange. There's also a surprising amount of computers next to the Ollie offices, the Idea offices, and the grocery store offices on interchange. Although Interchange has a lot of computers, the map is fairly large and I find it's difficult to get through the entire zone without being killed while making efficient runs while hitting every single computer area. I still think Shoreline is the most efficient way to farm computers and you're going to need to create a computer farming strategy for part four. So my favorite places on Shoreline is the Northern Wing upstairs, there's a giant computer room and also in East Wing 306. The last thing you're going to need to collect for part three is cords. Now this was a little bit difficult at first because I was getting terrible luck, so be careful, but I was getting a lot of people recommending to me to go to Interchange to find these cords. I still, to this day, have not found a single cord on the entire Interchange map. People claim that they were finding three or four at a time, but I was unsuccessful. So you can try to loot through Interchange, some of the tech stores, the Ollie, and the power station outside, but I still recommend going to Shoreline to find your cords. And the reason why Shoreline is great is because there's a lot of industrial shelving where cords can spawn. They also spawn uh, in the meteorologist center just under the computers. There's usually CPUs that spawn there too. Um, but also any filing cabinets, so the ones in the northern wing, uh, the ones in the office at the dock, uh, the ones inside the meteorologist center, plus all of the shelving in the northern wing and any industrial shelving in the western wing too. You could also go to the filing cabinets on customs or on any other map like factory 
any filing cabinet and duffel bags are a good place to find cords. It's really just down to luck. And if you're really set on doing this on interchange, I have heard that in the IKEA on the shelving, you can possibly find some cords. I always encourage those that have been finding items to leave them in the comment section below. So people that are really desperately searching for a particular item, then you guys can also help them out as well. Once you've turned it in, you'll be rewarded with an AKM, some money, and some reputation. Farming part three is not an item collection quest, thankfully, and it has you looking for some confiscated cargo in the customs offices. You are going to need to get your hands on a customs key or wait for somebody to open the terror group customs office and go inside. You can find customs keys by killing scavengers and looting their pockets and backpack, but it's primarily found by looting filing cabinets. It took me a few days to find mine, so good luck. Once you have your key, you want to go to the big red tin customs warehouse. This is one of the most iconic tasking warehouses because you're going to have to come back here periodically on your adventures completing all the tasks anyway. So getting access to your customs key is going to be pretty important. So just like other tasks beforehand, you're just going to have to go up, unlock the door, and then go to the main customs office room. Once you breach the room, laying on the floor on the left is the cardboard box which contains the GPUs and then head to the extraction. If you're having difficulty completing this because you're being killed by other players, I actually recommend spawning on boiler spawn first because the, by the time you get to the customs office, most of the players would have already looted this area and moved off. And if you're struggling to find the customs key, I also recommend spawning boiler side because the odds of somebody already opening that door to get access to the safe or to loot the computers uh, is pretty high. Once you've extracted, you can turn in the quest to receive a physical Bitcoin, some money and experience. Now we're going to talk about the last task in this video, and one that I'm actually not complete yet myself, but that's only because I need to put in the time farming the graphics cards. It's called Farming Part 4, and you guessed it, you have to find 10 graphics cards inside computers, and also 10 CPU fans. CPU fans are very common, one of the most common items you'll find while looting computers. You'll most likely find this within one or two raids, it's no big deal. The graphics cards, on the other hand, are the rarest item that you can find inside of a computer, even more rare than a CPU. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to find this. Now, my recommendation is either loot the North Wing and 306 on Shoreline, plus you can hit up other computers at the estates on Shoreline or in the offices on Shoreline, but my recommendation is just hit the Shoreline go there and extract really quick and just keep on repeating throughout the raids. Or you can go to interchange and hit up all of the computers that are there. If you can figure out a strategy on where you can hit each computer efficiently, then that might be a better idea because on top of the computers on interchange, there are a few tech stores that are positioned near the Ollie, which can actually have graphics cards spawning on the shelves. As well as on the third floor, there's a tech uh, store with a big red banner that can periodically spawn graphics cards on the shelves too. So so interchange for the graphics cards might actually be better. In the northeast corner of Shoreline, there's also a power station which has computers and shelving that can spawn graphics cards. Well guys, it's probably going to take me a few more days to find all the graphics cards I need to complete this task. So happy hunting. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe here for more Escape from Tarkov guides and gameplay. And if you're interested in completing more tasks, I'll, I'll include a playlist in the description box below that should help you with most of the other tasks in the game.